Today, we're gonna take a look at how to create an adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro X. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and this channel is all about helping you create better videos so you can build your brand. So if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe right now, and that way you won't miss a thing. All right, so let's jump straight into it. I've done a video before on how to create an adjustment layer. There's a card here or here somewhere, uh, but uh, some people have been having issues with actually opening up that adjustment layer for some reason it doesn't work so i'm going to teach you today how to, how to create an adjustment layer yourself that way you won't have this issue again um, if you have motion we're actually creating this in apple motion it's a 50 dollars uh, software piece of product that comes with you can buy for mac uh, so it's really cool you can do motion graphics and a bunch of other stuff so uh, you do need that to create this. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and take a look at how to create that. All right, so we're gonna use Apple Motion for this to work. And this is what it looks like when you open up Motion. Uh, you get these different options. You wanna select Final Cut Title. And the preset, I do 1080p because that's usually what I export at. The frame rate, I usually work at in a 23.98 uh, frames per second. And duration, you can change this to whatever you want. I do 10 seconds because it's easier for me to drag it out. If it usually defaults to two seconds, but th this doesn't really matter. You can always change it. Uh, click open. And here's what you get. The only thing you wanna do, it's very simple. Select this type text here, and we're gonna delete it. Right click, delete, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now go to file save as and you want to name it um, adjustment layer now I already have one that i created myself and i call it the same thing so i'm going to create a call it number two because i don't want to confuse them and then the category i have a custom made folder this is where i keep all the stuff that i created but you can create your own category by hitting new category and you can name it whatever you want and click create. I'm gonna cancel that and just select what I already have. Hashtag custom made theme. You don't need to select the theme. These, I, I leave them unchecked. Now you hit publish. It published it. We can minimize this, bring up Final Cut Pro X and hopefully it's already there. And there, here it is. Number two, adjustment layer. So if we were to drag this over and let's say I, we add some effects, command six to open up the color wheels. Let's say I bring up the shadows. You can see it's taking effect. I drop them. So this is really nice. Uh, you usually get these standard in, and uh, I'm sorry, in Adobe Premiere, but somehow Final Cut Pro X hasn't given us an adjustment layer by default. We have to create it or find it somewhere. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, it just makes it faster to color grade. You can drag this out and color grade multiple video clips as you see here. This is a, a video clip. So you can drag it throughout your timeline and you can color grade multiple video clips. So it just simplifies the process of color grading. So there you have it. That's how you create your own adjustment layer. Pretty straightforward, per pretty self-explanatory. If you have any suggestions, comments, anything you wanna share, do that down below also uh, if you found this useful give it a thumbs up and as always i'll see you guys on the next one